When you invest in the highest level machine tools, tooling, machine strategies, your coolant has got to be at the same sort of level. Here at Granger and Worrell, they use Blaser Swiss Lube from Gemtech. We're going to find out why. Darren, now Gemtech have been representing Blasa in the UK for many years. Now you brought us to Grange and Worrell. Now these guys invest in the most uh, highest accuracy machines in the marketplace. They've got some fantastic tooling strategies. But now you sell them Blaza. Now Blaza is one of the highest end lubricants in the marketplace. But tell us a little bit about the journey and the relationship you have with them. Uh, some nine years ago now, uh, we got introduced to Granger and Worrell. They had some issues that they'd been pointed in our direction to perhaps provide a solution. In that instance, we didn't supply the solution, but what we did establish was that there was, it wasn't a coolant issue. Because of all the recommendations Mark at Granger had been given about Blaser and Gemtech, that opened the door for us. So from that point, we started to have a conversation, did some testing, that went pretty well, and uh, here we are nine years later. Now, would you say that, uh, you know, from a general subcontracting point of view or a general machining point of view, do you think uh, a lot of engineers think that, uh, from a lubricant point of view, let's just buy the cheapest? Historically, that was definitely the case. Um, up until the first raft of reach directive, even, that was, that was the outlook that everybody in the marketplace went, make it as cheap as possible. Blaser could never go that route, partly because the Swiss mentality, but also certain regulations that were implied on them in Switzerland meant that they couldn't manufacture coolants using cheap oils and just subsidising them with some chemicals. So we always produced very high performing oils. Since the REACH directive came in and some of these chemicals have been withdrawn from the marketplace, we haven't lost any products where all our competitors have. And it seems to have made the whole industry aware that there's a difference in coolants and if you buy good quality based products then you can get a really high end finish. Because I understand from Grand and Warren's point of view they use the bio concept and that's one of the highest level uh, products they actually sell at Blaser isn't it? Bio concept is basically whereas the whole industry uses a chemical, a bactericide or a biocide to keep the coolant alive Bioconcept coolant relies on a dominant, what they call a dominant biotope. It's a chemic, it's a, a bacteria that's in the coolant that keeps the colonizes the sump and keeps the coolant alive that way. So from uh, from a health and safety point of view, you haven't got to worry about high concentrations of bactericides and biocides getting to operators. And I think with Granger and Warrell, they're, they're working in some very high-end automotive sectors, so they're getting a casting in, effectively. So I suppose part of the whole, we buy the best machine tools, we've got the best machining strategies. You, you are quite a big cog in, in the overall path of Granger and Warrell. Well, one of the beauties of working with Mark at, at Granger's is the fact that he acknowledges the fact that his whole production process is made up of lots of individual parts, and if you can improve those parts, then your overall process improves. So whilst on the face of it, you might be talking about a huge percentage gain by using a better quality cutting fluid, the actual figures that come out at the end can, can actually be quite impressive. And from a Gemtech point of view, I, I think the relationships you've built up over the years with many clients has obviously given you good service for Blaser. For any engineers that don't know what Blaser can actually do, what would be your message from Gemtech? The message from us is that we need people, we need potential customers to have the right outlook. They need to be looking to improve on where they are now. It seems an obvious thing to say, you would imagine everybody wants to improve, but certain people, because of the way they manufacture, if, you, if they had a better quality cutting fluid, wouldn't actually be worth anything to them. But the vast majority of people, if we can get their mindset to the point where they're looking to improve on something, then it's certainly worth talking to us. Well, I think it's been a great success story with Grandeur and Worrell. Thanks very much for your time, Darren. No problem. Thanks, Mark.